In times of crisis, people look to their leaders for answers. But ever since the planets were ripped from our sky, it seems all I can offer are more questions. And now, with Mars returned, I hardly know where to start. Where is she? Your theory was correct. The relic is of the pyramids, there's no doubt. Word is out about Mars. I need more time. The Cabal are mobilizing. We need to... Secure the camp! Seems they have another target. What are they aiming at? Savathun. Guardian, Eris and I are establishing hidden operations near the cradle. What's your location? We're in some kind of crop field. What you see is a window into the Golden Age. Mars has returned with temporal instabilities, and Savathun's presence here is no coincidence. We believe the reappearance of Mars drove her out of hiding, and our intel says she may be in a weakened state. The Cabal fleet is blocking the flight path onto her ship. We need you to find a way to get up there and track Savathun down. This may be our only chance to strike. are setting up a giant cannon. I have an idea. Head inside and get me to a console. Bring me to the console. Let's see how this cannon works. I heard Sabathun went into hiding thanks to the Awoken Queen, Mara Sav. So why is she showing herself again so soon? Seems too reckless for a god of cunning. Okay, got it. We need fuel, power, and projectile control. You'll be the projectile, of course. I know what you're thinking, but trust me, this will work. My plans always work. Let's start with opening the fuel box.
new lines open. Next up, generators. If I were a god of cunning, I wouldn't show up with a giant ship. It's like saying, here I am, come kill me. Or maybe Savathun's waving a red flag at a bull. Maybe we're the bull. We need two override codes to get the lift moving. Only Cabal engineers carry them. to that console. I'll activate the lift. Lift is active. We just have to adjust the trajectory. When I was searching for the cannon schematics, I saw marching orders from Keitel. She wants to retake Mars as Cabal territory. Not sure how she'll feel about us interfering. All right, the cannon is aligning. Time to reload, Guardian. Don't worry, you'll be fine. But I'll stand by to revive. Just in case. To my knowledge, no Guardian has ever been on Savathun's ship before. Either she's inviting us aboard, or she's so weak after that encounter with Queen Mara that she's getting clumsy. I'm hoping for the latter, but I wouldn't bet on Ikora, we made it onto the ship and we're seeing traces of void light. Seems like maybe another Guardian got up here first. That's impossible. Perhaps we've acted too hastily. There are too many unknowns. Savathun is the god of cunning. To wait for a moment when her intentions are clear... We would wait forever. Not forever. Just until we can provide backup. Guardian, Eris and I are pinned down. If you turn back now, it'll give us more time to plan. I don't think Savathun will give us free time, Ikora. This might be our only shot. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Be careful. Did you see that moth just now? It was glowing with light. Not corrupted light, Guardian but light like ours. The Hive shouldn't be able to use the light against us. They shouldn't be able to use it at all. The Traveler would never grant them that power. Not willingly, anyway. This just isn't adding up. We need to find Savathun. In there. I'm picking up unusual energy readings from that statue. Let's make a quick detour. Those moths will attack if you don't shoot them, Guardian. statue doesn't look hive. I've never seen anything like it. Looks like pyramid technology. 
What's it doing on Savathun's ship? We should bring it back to Ikora. There are reports of Savathun trying to capture Void Light from dead guardians. Maybe this is related. Maybe she's been studying the Void all this time. Could that be how she did this? that, right? I... I can't believe this. We have to keep going. Oh, Traveler, what has she done to you? Is this place? This doesn't look like a hive throne world. Tell me, O oh honored guest. It's her. How did you do it? How did you find the strength to destroy something so like yourself? There. To look in a mirror and kill what looks bad. Come on, you're strong. That was too easy. It did seem too easy, didn't it? Guardian? Guardian, do you read me? We're here, Ikora. We're back on Mars. Back? From where? Sabathun's throne world. I know, we should have checked in. But we had Sabathun in our sights. That might have been our only shot at her and we couldn't miss it. I understand completely. That's not like Sabathun to allow herself to be seen so easily. There's... something else. Before we left the ship, we ran into one of her knights, and it... It had a ghost, Ikora. Same as any other light bearer. A ghost? A hive knight with a ghost? But that means... Savathun stole the light. But that's impossible, isn't it? Impossible? With Savathun, nothing is impossible. Savathun, the Witch Queen. 
Hive god of cunning and lies. Hive legend tells us she was born on a hostile, far-off planet, where she would have lived a short, uneventful life. If it weren't for the worm familiar that warned of an impending cataclysm. And so, she led her siblings into the depths, where the ancient worm gods offered them immeasurable power in exchange for endless blood tribute. From this, the Hive were born, and countless civilizations were condemned to extinction. For untold ages, they devoured life and light wherever it could be found, facing little resistance, until they tried to take on the Guardians. After the death of her brother Oryx, Savathun went into hiding. Not out of fear, of course, but out of strategy. Because Savathun knows the best way to beat your enemy is to join them. In her greatest trick yet, she infiltrated the Vanguard, weakening us from within. And stealing our most sacred resource. The one thing we thought she could never touch. The light. Light-bearing hive, complete with their own ghosts. I should have seen this coming, but how? We're in a new paradigm now, Guardian, where the boundaries between are becoming increasingly blurred, especially between what's right and what's wrong. If I had been in your place, to be honest, I don't know what I would have done. But there's no use dwelling on that. Let's assess what we do know. I see you picked up a clue along the way. One that might explain why Savathun decided to return alongside Mars. According to your ghost telemetry, that fragment is giving off the same vibrations as the pyramid tech relic. That just so happened to return with Mars. Go take a look. I'll explain more when you report back. We stand behind you. Guardians have been combing Mars since it reappeared. No way they'd have missed this. It's definitely new. Let's get a closer look. That was... something. Not sure exactly what that something was, or what that something did to you. Hopefully nothing bad. <laughs> Here I was, bemoaning the fact that we now had two mysteries to solve. And you, Wilson, making breakthroughs left and right. So, the relic rendered a full blueprint out of a single fragment. Almost as if you were shaping that weapon based on its own memory which parallels the distortions all over the planet. Open wounds where the past bleeds into the present. Somehow the relic can manipulate time. With the right conduit, of course. Which Savathun happened to have. But could she use the relic? And what for? The questions just keep piling up. It seems the answers are buried within Savathun's throne world. I need someone to go in and dig them up. Guardian, how do you feel about working with the Hidden?
Eris says throne worlds are kingdoms of thought, built according to the desires of the Creator. I suppose Sabathun desired a throne world made of light. Everything here is imbued with it. What's strange to me is that she's vulnerable here. Why would she just let us walk in? We need a clue about how she stole the light. Guardian down! Guardian down! this. Well, that's need to know, pal, and you don't. Uh, need to know. I mean, look, just get out before Sabathun and her light-up goons realize you're here. Are you with the Vanguard? Hello? We lost him. I can trace the signal. Any lead's a good lead when you have no leads. What do you know about Hyde using the light? That's why you're here. That's need to know. Yeah, yeah. Now look, all right, I really shouldn't be doing this, but come meet me outside the fortress. Just be discreet, all right? from beyond that gate. We have to get it open. Hey, what did you do? What did you do? Oh, no, you triggered the alarm. The hive are gonna be all over you. What happened to being discreet? We're trying to open the gate. Look, just, just try to stay alive, all right? Once the gate's open, just make a run for it. open. Let's go. Between you and me, I don't think this guy we've been talking to is working for the Vanguard. I guess it could be a rogue hidden agent or a lost guardian. But maybe it's just Sabathun disguising her voice. Any leads a good one. sure I'll ever get used to seeing ghosts serving the hive. All ghosts were created after the collapse. The Traveler released us just before it went dormant. These ghosts had thousands of opportunities to choose a guardian, and they passed right over humanity and chose our enemy instead. I can't forgive that. Cora, there are Scorn here. They're up to something using Pyramid Tech and a lot of Dark Aether. These readings suggest they're tearing open a gateway into the Throne World. Stop them before they can bring in more forces. Hey, you know, get awkward out of the way first, I always say. This, uh, pile of ash and bone... Oh, used to be my, uh... 
to, uh, actually, don't worry about it. All you need to know, us wandering ghosts gave into the hive believing we'd found purpose and, well, peer pressure's a hell of a thing. Huh? Also, because it's what the traveler must have wanted, yeah. then hive killed guardians with light and you think, that's the traveler's will, really? I'll tell you what, I don't buy it. Not anymore. The Witch Queen's up to something, and, you know, maybe together we get to the bottom of it, huh? There's an old hive temple nearby with Savathun's secrets inside. That is all I know. The what and the why? Pfft, that's your game, yeah? And when you get there, radio me. Private channels only. Oh, almost forgot. The name's Finch. Honor to meet you. Yeah, for real, real. I still can't believe Sabathun has the light. The light is sacred, Guardian. It's what gives you your power. It's the reason I found you. And I will never let the Hive steal that from us. Finch, we're nearing the Hive Temple you mentioned. Whoa, 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 hey, careful using my name out there. I don't need the loose and Hive catching onto our uh, friendship. Okay, okay. You'll be careful. So, Finch, mind telling us what exactly it is we're looking for? Oh, you know, uh, what's his name, that old warlock Osiris? Yeah, it's his ghost. Well, was his ghost. Wait. You mean Sagira? Th that's the one, yeah. You know what happened to her. How she, you know. Sivu Arath came for her, backed her into a corner. But clearly Savathun found her shell, impersonated Osiris. Ah, uh, I see. That must have been part of her play, to steal the light, I mean. Sure seems that way. Well, I'm, I'm sensing some skepticism. We don't know you, but you're very eager to trust us. Makes me uneasy. Hey, 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 now, I, I am taking a huge chance trusting you too, you know. I bet you change your tune once you find Sakura. If we find her, then we can talk trust. More scorn. What are they even doing here? Traitorous ghosts serving the hive. Good riddance. They deserve what they get. Oh, so, uh, by that logic, I, I should be crushed into pieces, too. You turn tail back to the hive, then yeah, maybe. That's, uh, some pretty blind judgment there, my friend. Meeting you confirmed a suspicion. Siding with the hive was a choice, and you all made it willingly. Look, making a choice doesn't always mean you have multiple options, you know. Look, I am not saying buddying up with the Hive was right, and yeah, 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 maybe a lot of us do deserve what's coming. But me, I'm just trying to right my wrongs. That's got to count for something. I guess we'll see. So to get this straight, we're heading into a dangerous temple filled with deadly scorn to find Sagira, who was placed there by Sabathur. Well, that's about the gist of it, yeah. And this definitely isn't some kind of trap. Now, come, come on, look, interrogate me all you want, but I am not hiding anything, I promise. Honesty goes a long way with my guardians. Is that...? Ikora Ray, a leader of the Vanguard. I signaled her just in case. Let's call it insurance. A watchful eye. In case your actions differ from your words. Like Cora Ray, wow. It's, uh, yeah, whoa. 
<sighs> I always wanted to work for the Vanguard. With, not for. Do right by us, and we can discuss a more permanent role once Savathun is dealt with. That was a giant scorn. Was that a Baron? They might be seeing things. The Barons are supposed to be dead. Taunting us. It must know what we're after. The scorn are supposed to be mindless, but these, they're powerful, organized. If they act, it's because someone's telling them to. The fanatic would be a safe bet. Oh, you mean Fickrel? The leader? Uh, the former leader of the Barons? Perhaps. He was driven from the Tangled Shore not long ago. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's him. And you know this how? Well, Throne World's bathed in Savathun's light, right? Supposed to be a capital P powerful, keep anything dark out. And yet, somehow, the Scorn found a way in. Makes you think they found some sort of power to match, doesn't it, huh? Then we don't yet know what we're dealing with here. For now, keep focused on the task at hand, Guardian. Sagira. No Baron, but it felt just as powerful. What are we dealing with here? Uh, I uh, wouldn't stick around to find out if I were you. Grab Sagira and go, okay? We stand before a being with a thousand names. It whispers one. The witness. Remember it. Remember that name. Did anybody else hear that? Sounded like Sabathun. Who's the witness? No clue. I've never heard that name before. Hey, that's exciting though, right? A lead! What's most exciting is that you were telling the truth. Trust earned, then, huh? Yeah? Call it cautious optimism for now. Your guidance yielded results. But let's not forget Savathun remains at large. Well, hopefully not for long if we have anything to say about it. I just want to expose Savathun. You know, stop whatever game she's playing. You can be sure we'll hold you to that. In the meantime, what should we do with Sagira? I'm not sure how we heard that voice from it, but I have a theory. Bring her back to me as soon as you can. And good work. All of you. First the relic, then the illusions near Sabathun's fortress, and now Sagira's shell, all linked by the same energy. The same dark energy, which you can interact with. It's been useful so far. I just don't like how little we know about it. I bet Ikora will have some theories about all this. We should head back to Mars. Finding Sagira brings up a lot of old memories. When you picked up her shell, you were able to access something left behind. A psychic fingerprint. I believe the relic awoke a new ability within you. One that reveals what lies beneath the surface. One rooted in darkness. 
Something tells me this witness Sabathun mentioned is directly tied to her theft of the light. We need to hear more of that fingerprint. Which means you need to strengthen that ability. We've learned from the Pyramid on Europa before. Head there. Eris will guide you. If my instincts are correct, this ability could be just what we need to solve this case. You took power from this pyramid once before, Guardian. Ikora believes there is more to be found. How will communing with darkness help us understand the voices we heard when we found Sagira's shell? Reach the statue at the heart of the pyramid. Strengthen your connection to the darkness, as you will see beyond the limitations of normal sight. I'm picking up a Cabal transmission. I pulled a clip for you. Through the warriors of the Cabal Empire, Defectors march upon the European Pyramid, searching for trinkets of darkness. Their expedition is not sanctioned. Any that join them act alone. My father's obsession with the voice in the darkness must not infect our own ranks. I guess this means the Empress won't mind us fighting our way in. Ball shield blocking the doorway. Looks like they got up here first. Guardian down. Eris, the pyramid is reacting to our presence somehow. Opening doors, moving platforms. Perhaps it senses something in you. When I explored these strange passageways, I felt it sensed something in me, too. I resented it at first. To believe it recognized in me some secret kinship. But like you, Guardian, I have learned to use it. There are Cabal supplies everywhere. It looks like they're trying to establish a foothold inside the pyramid. Hoping to pilfer artifacts of darkness for their war against war itself, I assume. Zivu Arath destroyed their homeworld, and the conquerors do not take well to being conquered. I think that device is jamming the pyramid's movement somehow. You said the pyramid recognizes something in us, Eris. But what? A defender. A finely honed blade. A curiosity. It could be any of those. Or none. My Cora too has asked this question, and my answer is always the same. Pure speculation. I worry the ambiguity weighs on her too heavily. I don't think the Pyramid is helping us out of generosity, Guardian. It's manipulating us, using us somehow. The Darkness is a neutral force, but the Pyramids have an agenda. Until we know what it is, we can't let our guard down.
something must control these ships. We've never seen a pilot. In her journeys beyond the Heliopause, Queen Marasov encountered the entity that commands the pyramids. She said its mind spoke louder than any other she has ever heard. A cacophony of thought. Perhaps those voices steer these ships. One of those voices spoke to you in the Black Garden as well. Ikora said that this new ability allows you to see psychic imprints of past events. And if you commune with the pyramid, you might be able to see the imprint on Sagira's shell. It's strange. The light made you forget, and now the darkness helps you remember. The Cabal are trying to destroy the statue. We have to stop them, or you won't be able to commune with the pyramid. We communed with the statue. We can't tell yet if anything has changed. It seems like we might not notice the effects until we're back in Sabathun's throne world. Either way, we don't want to stay here longer than we have to. Wise, these ships are still a mystery to us. I admit, even after I sent you off, I had my doubts. But Eris reports the Pyramid responded to your presence. A sign that we're headed in the right direction, I think. Now that you've paid a visit to the Pyramid, you should be able to reveal the memory on Sagara's shell in full. The fact you can't means there's still something we're missing. The Hidden have been analyzing the wounds you see all across the desert. The areas around them emanate with strong concentrations of psychic energy. They've located a similar concentration inside the throne world. I believe that's what we need in order to make Savathun's memory fully manifest. Take Sagira's shell there, then we'll see if I'm correct. Hopefully, this is how we'll finally find some answers. Come back safe. Guardian, the psychic energy my hidden detected is concentrated in this area. Find the source, and you might be able to learn more from Zagira's shell. It's possible she learned how Savathun stole the Traveler's light before she died. There must be some clue here. Search the area. I've delivered the general location data to your ghost, though I don't have anything precise. I'm sensing pyramid-related interference between us and the coordinates Ikora sent. There must be a way to get around it. Right 
day. That's contributing to the interference. Maybe we can destroy it. That helped, but I'm picking up another source of interference. Let's track it down. Ikora, we encountered pyramid interference. The one on Europa was so welcoming to us. What changed? On Europa, I suspect that your purposes overlap neatly with the pyramids. You destroyed the Cabal. It granted you more power. Here, your presence hardly registers. You have nothing to ask for, and nothing to offer. Remember, the Pyramid Entity considers itself neither our friend nor our enemy. These old, half-forgotten pathways. That power you're using is making them real again. Rebuilding them through memory. Hopefully, Sagira's shell holds that same potential. With the right concentration of psychic energy, a resonant memory connected to her shell will manifest. Guardian down. But this is all theoretical still. It's never been done. Guardian, down! Ikora, we still haven't found anything. But I have an odd feeling. Sort of like deja vu. That's consistent with what my hidden described. Follow that feeling. Take your time. Pick your path carefully. This is our only way. Once we learned Sabathu was impersonating Osiris, I wanted to believe Sagira was still alive. Trapped somewhere, like him. And that if we played our cards right, we'd free her too. But at least we found her. She can help us one last time. Then we can bring her home. Ikora, I think we found it. There's something here. Find a connection point. We need answers now. its symbols. I can't quite make them out. What is this place? Ikora, we've been transported somewhere. It doesn't look like the rest of Sabathun's throne world. Ikora? We lost her guardian. I guess we're going in alone. I stand before a being with a thousand names. It whispers one. Who witness? Remember it. Remember that name. It is not darkness, but something that wears it like a cloak. It gives darkness a wicked shape. I refuse to be its servant. I spent centuries crafting schemes, playing tricks, finding loopholes. And then I select my new name. A man with many enemies, and few friends. But those friends know secrets. About the light. About new beginnings. My plan takes shape. That came from Sagira's shell. Like a psychic imprint. A memory. Sabathun's memory. And if that's what it was, it means she used Ikora's relationship with Osiris to learn something about the light. Something dangerous. Hey, hey, are you there? We're here, Finch. Oh, good, 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 good. I've been trying to reach you. I couldn't get through. 
Look, I got another tip for you. Big lead on your next clue. So, uh, come meet me. No time to lose. Igora. The device was some sort of super weapon. The energy I detected within was extremely volatile. Way beyond expected levels. The Scorn clearly have an appetite for destruction. But at whose behest, we do not yet know. We'll keep starving them until we figure out who's behind all this. Thanks, Ikora. Explosions and glory, but you and me, Hunter. Like we both know, fights get won by shoot. Whoa, 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 you saw a what? A memory? See, see, I knew Sagira's shell would start us in the right direction. I knew it! Okay, here's the tip. Ever heard of Oryx? The Taken King? Savathun's brother? Yeah. Okay, I thought so. Savathun's got a temple dedicated to him. I, I, look, I know what you're thinking. Who cares, right? But we found Sagira's shell in a temple dedicated to the sister, Zivu. Imagine what we could find in Oryx's temple. Okay, and as far as how we get in? Well, you just leave that to me. The temple to Oryx is protected by one of Savathun's toughest warriors. He's guarding something. Something you can use, like you use Sagira's shell. But the only way in is through some old canals, which means we need a boat. Leave that part to me. That's our guy! The one guarding the temple! What's he doing away from his post? This could be our chance. So, Savathun was impersonating Osiris, Ikora's friend and mentor, right? Maybe... Ikora slipped up. Said something that helped Savathun get at the light. Whatever happened between them, this isn't Ikora's fault. Sure, sure. I'm just saying. Ikora is a spy master, right? And Osiris is her friend. Yeah, think she would have noticed. Sabathun tricked all of us, including you and every other Hive ghost. We're not going to let Ikora take this on herself. As you're right, you just hop on and I'll handle the rest. Now these weird Hive controls, I mean, how does this... Ah, there it is. Here we go, boat's moving. Finch? Why did we stop? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't expect this. Just a little hiccup. <laughs> you can get that barrier down, right? Sure you can. Hey, you did it! Good job. Boat's on the move again. Finch, we're stuck again. Oh, seriously, but I did the thing. It's just this hive tech. It's so archaic. It, uh, just give me a sec. Okay, we're getting close to the swamp now. Temple's not far from here. You said this is a temple to Oryx? Yeah, that's right. Zabathun's brother. The Taken King himself. We killed each other about a million times over, but she dedicated a temple to him. Eh, it's funny how that works. Now be careful here. Something happened to this place. It's overgrown with darkness. I can sense light here, though. I just can't see it. Maybe there's a safe path through. Looks like we're all clear, Finch. We're heading in. Careful. The knight guarding this place? He's an old rival of Oryx, and he's no joke. It's pretty funny that Sabathun has him guarding Oryx's temple, though. Guardian down.
Finch, you were right. We found something. It's a piece of the Tablets of Ruin. The Tablets Oryx used to create Taken. I was right. I was right. I knew it. I knew the Taken were involved somehow. Alak Hul's ghost got away. It just left his body here. Uh, contingency plan. They're learning. I'm trying to stay a step ahead of you. But you got the tablet. That's the important part. That gets us one step closer to taking down the Witch Queen. The portal that was here before is gone. We'll have to find another way forward if we want to manifest the memory. The tablet we found must be connected to how Sabathun got the light. I will never be the Taken Queen. I refuse to play second fiddle to my brother Oryx. When Oryx carved the Tablets of Ruin, he described the ability to create the Taken. But Oryx's chisel was affected by viral power from the deep. I studied its vermicular path. I read between the lines. The Tablets hide a riddle. The answer to this riddle is something greater than the power to take. It is the power of the witness to move worlds from one reality to another. This is what I will do. I will not take. I will give. I will grant the Traveler a safe haven away from its enemies. And once it hangs in the sky of my throne world, I will seal it away. Sabathun is planning to pull the Traveler into her throne world and seal it away. If that happens, we could lose our connection to the light forever. We need to talk to Ikora. So, it's not the darkness that's responsible for the planet's mass abduction, but an entity behind it. The Witness. And it seems I might be the one responsible for Savathun's theft of the light. I won't lie. I... anticipated this. After all, I was the one who welcomed her into the tower. Who gave her access to the Vanguard archives. And now, humanity is at risk of losing the Traveler to the Hive. If I truly am to blame here, I need to know before Savathun gets her claws anywhere near the Traveler. Your friend Finch has been in touch with a new lead. I'm not so sure about this one. But right now, we can't afford any hesitation. Connect with him in the Throne World. Find the answers we need. No matter what it takes. This lead guardian, this could be big, big enough to crack this case wide open. Fitch, a hunch is not enough. We need evidence, compelling evidence. Okay, how about a secret underground temple? Because I found one deep in the tunnels there. And guess who it's dedicated to? Savathun. Yeah, well, kinda. It's dedicated to Sathona. Savathun before she was a hive god. I mean, talk about compelling. Just imagine what's buried down there. Imagine? So you haven't seen this object? I didn't get eyes on it per se, but I know it's powerful. Enough to attract a whole mess of scorn. If this object is what you promise, then it'll be worth it. Stay alert, Guardian. We can't miss this one. The scorn are even more entrenched than the last time we were here. 
Sworn have dug themselves in deep down here. So Finch, tell us more about this temple. How do you know it's dedicated to Savona? I only got a peek inside, but the statue in there looks just like her. So Savathun built a mausoleum for her younger self, then abandoned it. Why? Uh, I don't know. Um, embarrassment? Who isn't a little ashamed of their past? <laughs> Dead end. But there's an illusion here, with Savathun's signature. So, she didn't leave this area totally unprotected. Why didn't she return to upgrade her defenses with the light? Why haven't the Lucent Hive come to confront the Scorn? Oh, maybe it's bait. Maybe she's luring the Scorn in so she can convert them. Use them against the Witness. I highly doubt Savathun would gamble her throne world for the sake of a few Scorn Brigades. No. Savathun and the Witness are fighting a turf war. You don't see ground unless you're losing. So, that's the temple Savathun dedicated to herself. It's... It's quite a sight, isn't it? Can't accuse Savathun of being too humble. There's no way to lower the bridge from here. There has to be another path forward. Use your senses, Guardian. You've gone too far to turn back empty-handed. Guardian down. Okay, hey, before you go in the temple, we should take bets on what this object's gonna be. Now, I don't technically have any glimmer, but... I do have a pretty solid theory based on what we found so far. Now's not a good time, Finch. Yes, don't distract the Guardian. We're already taking a gamble that this thing has the answers we need. Guardian down. The Traveler and the Last City are depending on it. Guardian down. Guardian, look. That plate in the center should lower the drawbridge. Ikora, we're lowering the drawbridge now. Good. Once you're in, head straight for the statue Finch described. If this fits the pattern, the object should be nearby. Guardian? Ghost? Have you found the object yet? The only thing here is the statue. What? There's gotta be more! I'm sorry, but it doesn't look like there's anything here but the statue. Bitch, please don't tell me the Guardian did all this for nothing. No, no, there's something there, I swear. Wait, what if the object is the statue itself? Or one part of the statue. That worm familiar looks like it's a separate piece. Of course. This is Savathun's temple, after all. There had to be a trick in it. Possible. That's an Ahamkara. What? I knew it. 
I knew the Alum Car were gone. I knew there was one left. At least one. The last one died cursing the Dreaming City. This has to be another illusion. Of course that Ahamkara would have one final move. We gotta find a way out fast. Ikora, Finch, any suggestions? Guess we're on our own. Let's go, Guardian. Guardian down. Guardian, come in. Are you there? We're here, Igor. We're on our way to the surface now. And, and you've got the object, right? Otherwise, this was a huge waste of time. We got it. Thanks for the concern, Finch. <laughs> well, I, I never doubted you for a second. Ikora was worried, but I knew you two could handle that Ahamkara. <laughs> Wasn't even a real one. <laughs> the danger was real enough. I never should have sent the Guardian in on such shaky intel, even if it was our only lead. Well, we made it out in one piece, and if this object shows us how Savathun got the light, the risks were worth it. Yes. Let's hope. Yeah! Go, team! How come we can't get in? Ikora, it didn't work. We couldn't unlock the memory on the worm familiar. What? Why? What happened? I'm not sure. We did the same as before, but this time, it rejected us. It can't be. That's the only lead we have. I suppose we'll need another plan. I don't know. Bring that thing back to Mars. I'll talk to Eris. See if she has any other ideas. On our way. Ikora, why would you keep this from me? If I had known... I didn't keep anything from you, Zabala. Not intentionally. I couldn't feel a win on every minute detail. When it comes to Sabbath, no detail is too small. You know that better than anyone. Which is why I made some judgment calls without you. As you do without me. Not on a matter like this! Ah. Uh, Guardian. We can discuss this more later. 
My point, Ikora, is that we are meant to be a team. We can't rely on your instincts alone. Perhaps I can't rely on them at all. The way this investigation is going. It's clear my judgment has been compromised. I should step back. Let you and Eris handle this. As a team. Ikora's instincts are the only reason we've come so close to the truth. This new lead puts it firmly within our grasp. All right then. You and the Guardian follow up. Keep me posted. A trusted source has informed us of new evidence. A memento from Savathun's last known location before her conversion to the Light. It's kept deep within her fortress. A difficult place to reach. But we have no other options. Go there and I'll be in touch. We're in position. Where are we headed? Your destination lies deep within the fortress, Guardian, in the Apothecary Wing. There you should find a particular shard of crystal. Before her loosened transformation, Savathun was in the custody of the Awoken, securely bound within a crystalline cell. Or so it seemed. So this crystal is a piece of her former prison, which means it was likely on her when she stole the light. Yes. My source believes the events leading to her escape are intrinsically linked to the mystery before us now. This crystal could very well be the clue we've been looking for. That must be the apothecary wing. All the way over there. Yes. Savathun's halls are just as winding and deceitful as her mind. To move forward, you must seek out the more aberrant paths. Eris said we have to seek out the aberrant paths. So what looks aberrant around here? Eris, what's the situation? The Guardian is en route to the object in question now, Commander. Good. You are sure this will get us the answers we need? Or you can't afford another dead end? The Queen of the Reef does not share information lightly. Mara Sol gave you the tip? You didn't mention that before. I did, in fact, mention it. To Ikora, moments before you interrupted us. She agreed there was no more reliable source on this matter than Savathun's former captor. I trust Mara, but she plays her cards too close to her chest. If she had shared this earlier, we wouldn't be so desperate now. To win against the Hive Gog of cunning and lies, it's best not to show one's hand too early. I bet this hive sword will be just as useful as the last one. Now we need to find a lock to smash open. The Witch Queen may have recast her realm in a loosened sheen, but remnants of dark architecture still lurk underneath. And the Guardian's new ability reveals these hidden remnants. Yes, Ikora explained. Why can't we use the light to achieve the same result? The light may be a powerful force, but when dealing in illusions, it has proven insufficient. It is the mind that must bend to see the truths hidden here. Thus, only darkness can show the way. My only fear is where that way will lead us in the end. All right, Guardian, let's focus. To find the way forward, we need a sword and something to smash with it.
You've done well honing the gift granted to you by the Black Fleet, Guardian. Do you see now, Commander, why Ikora chose as she did? For all her doubts, she knew only darkness, channeled by a strong mind, could bring us this far. I understand. My issue isn't with the call Ikora made, but the fact that she made it on her own. We know how Savathun operates. She singles people out for a reason. There's no need to make her job any easier. And Eris, I think you know better than anyone that darkness is not a path to be forged alone. She wasn't alone. No, I take your point. This is definitely the apothecary wing. Somehow, it feels even creepier in here. Naturally. You're trespassing on the testing grounds for the Lucent Hive's most wretched experiments. Savathun likely appointed one of her High Council wizards to keep watch over this place. Find them. The crystal is sure to be nearby. No signs of a crystal so far. Just rows and rows of jars filled with... Is that light? But it's tainted somehow. Savathun has always encouraged her wizards to push boundaries of hive magic. It seems that hasn't changed with the light. Proof, perhaps, that corruption has far less to do with the power than the one channeling it. Or the power has permanent side effects. Darkness transforms Sabathun into king from prey to predators. Not darkness itself, but an entity behind it corrupted the Hive. Conditioned their power on an endless blood tithe. Their fate is not inevitable. I have no doubt that some can handle darkness with discipline. But those who can't, they're not the only ones to pay the price. This is an inverted realm. Explore any and all directions, especially those you least suspect. Looks like we're interrupting something. But where's the wizard overseeing all this? I think we just found the one in charge around here. Good. Now go and get the will out of the crystal out of them. The wizard just fled. Follow them. They're closing ranks around the crystal. There's the Crystal Garden. Time to finish this. Devotion inspires bravery. Bravery inspires sacrifice. And sacrifice. That was Savathun, all right. But what does that mean? This is the evidence we've been seeking all along. Ikora's instincts were correct, after all. Indeed. But we don't have our answers yet. Go unlock the memory, Guardian. Then let's see if this cracks the case. I've read some of Ikora's notes on the darkness and the light, Guardian. She thinks the darkness is closely linked with memory. You access this place with the darkness power. What exactly have we tapped into here?
the end before it happened. My own death, brought on by the separation from my power. And in these final moments, I look to the sky. Hello, old friend. I've chased you for a long time. First as an enemy, then as a collector, and finally, now, a supplicant. What is it the Guardians say? Devotion inspires bravery. Bravery inspires sacrifice. And sacrifice... <coughs> Incredible that I could forget something like that, isn't it? Such a storied life, erased. The light offers us a fresh start. But if we don't know where we came from, how will we know where to go? I'm so grateful to you for reminding me, for telling my story. Wait. What is she talking about? She remembers. We helped her remember. Thanks for the memories, Guardian. We have to leave. I knew Ikora had nothing to do with Savathun having the light. But the truth is so much worse. I don't understand how the Traveler could choose her the same way it chose you. We need to talk to Zavala. I know you're eavesdropping, Neon Nerds. Nothing brings folks together like a common enemy. And you got a lot of enemies. Watch your butts. Ikora, the device was some sort of super weapon. The energy I detected within was extremely volatile. Way beyond expected levels. The Scorn clearly have an appetite for destruction. But at whose behest, we do not yet know. We'll keep starving them until we figure out who's behind all this. Thanks, Ikora. So, you're saying Savathun was dead? 
Our most devious adversary, the one who nearly decimated the last city from within, was dead. And the Traveler resurrected her? I wouldn't have believed it either, but... But why would she need us to recover her memories if she never lost them in the first place? This has to be another trick. A lie to fool us into surrendering the Traveler without a fight. This has been the Traveler's approach from the beginning. The Books of Sorrow detail many civilizations it blessed with the light, then abandoned. High propaganda. The Fallen tell the same story. When the Witness and its Black Fleet came to call, the Traveler moved on to our system. Where it sacrificed itself to save humanity from the same forces. Forces which included the Hive! After all that, why would the Traveler give our worst enemy the light? It doesn't matter. I don't know why the Traveler gave Sabathun the light. Maybe it has changed its mind about Guardians. Maybe it's not as infallible as we once believed. I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Because I'm here to protect humanity. And if Sabathun takes the Traveler, we lose our light. Along with any hope for surviving the Witness's return. So, whatever it takes to stop this heist, we will do. All right. How do we stop this? I'm not sure yet, but I know where to find out. I knew Aldrin's death wouldn't make me feel better. Hive legend tells us Sabathun was born on a far-off planet, where she would have lived an uneventful life if it weren't for her worm familiar. The object you retrieved from the underbelly of the throne world. What if it's not a statue? What if it's the worm familiar itself, calcified from age? That would explain why you couldn't unlock it with the others. That also means it contains a memory that Sabathun herself doesn't know. What that is? We're going to find out. With the one tool we have capable of slicing deep into the past. It'll be risky using the relic this way. Which is why I'll be taking this on myself. Eris will help me prepare. Meet us on Mars when you're ready. This is how we stop Sabathun Guardian. I know it. These frail siblings will soon be claimed by the light. Unless we claim them first, we will tell the most cunning sibling of a cataclysm. A prophecy 
great loss. We will feed her fear, her pride. We will say, Young Sathona, the end is coming. A great cataclysm. A god wave. In the sky, there is only death. But salvation lies in the deep. Lead your sisters down. Your coming will spare their short lives. And you will be reborn. The Witch Queen. Salathun. They were tricked. The Hive were lied to. Hive God of Lies was lied to. This changes everything. Well, not everything. We still can't let Savathun seal the Traveler away. The ritual's already begun. We need to move fast. Savathun may be one of the Traveler's chosen by rights, but she's still leaning on tricks she learned from the Witness. Take the familiar to Savathun's fortress. I'll follow as soon as I'm recovered. Wait until you're in the heart of the ritual. Then unleash the memory. That should be enough to destabilize things and break her hold on the Traveler. Remember, Guardian, Savathun's strategy rests on knowing more than anyone else, on her ability to twist lies and cast confusion. But now, we can turn the tables on her. The Traveler! Ikora, the Traveler is already here. I think we're too late. We are in the domain of the God of Cunning. Things are never what they seem. It's not too late. I can feel it. Now that the Traveler sees what Savathun is doing, why won't it take the light away from her? Why is it just letting this happen? I don't know why. We may never know. But we know what we need to do to protect the last city. Stop the ritual. Protect our connection to the light. Humanity needs you. Both of you. Scorn are flocking to the fortress because of the ritual. The Hive are summoning heavy reinforcements from the portal. That will block our route into the fortress. Hold off the Hive and the Scorn as long as you can, and leave the portal to me. I'm on my way. Go on! I'll draw fire here. All that matters right now is the Traveler. Whatever you hear, whatever you see, don't let it distract you from stopping the ritual. The Scorn are arriving by the hundreds. The ritual must be growing stronger. Remember the plan, Guardian. Stop the ritual by whatever means necessary. Without the light, the last city is defenseless. Ritual is happening at the top of the fortress. We need to find a way up. You're back. What a surprise. Only joking. This throne world is indistinguishable from my own mind, Guardian. Every step taken, every bullet fired, every thought whispered. I keep and count them all. Remember that. I'm so glad you're here to see this.
banish her ghost. Sessions. How stupid do you think I am? You and your siblings. You killed my friends! I remember Crota and the Great Disaster. I remember Oryx and the Taken. I remember what you did to the Awoken and the Dreaming City. I'll never forget what happened to Sagira, to Osiris. I would die before I ever chose to help the Hive. spinning a web around the Traveler. We have to free it. The tethers are coming from those towers. Find a way to reach them. Memory Guardian. These frail siblings will soon be claimed by the light. Unless we claim them first. What is this? How did you? We will tell the most cunning sibling of cataclysm. The prophecy of great loss. No. No, that's not what happened. The Traveler never came to us. We were forced to choose the Deep. How could I have missed this? So now you want to play games? Then let's play! Go on, then. 
You know so much? Tell me who I am! Isn't this interesting? I miscalculated. So did you, Guardian. So protective of your traveler that you wouldn't let me keep it safe. But the witness is coming. The game is yours to play now. Yours to win or lose. Just don't say, I didn't warn you. Where did her ghost go? Guardian, I just got the message. The Traveler is back in the last city. Is it done? Is Salvathun... She's dead. But her ghost got away. Good enough. Hold your position. The Hidden are coming to secure the remains. Good work, Guardian. You did the right thing. Now what? Now, we prepare for the witness and stop the next collapse. We have 
seen in her. The children of soul cry out for salvation. You promise them life, but deliver only death, as you have for so many before. Enough. Enough death. Enough life. You have no pieces left to place. The game is over. Do not be afraid. Your pale heart holds the key. This time, there is no escape.